In this lesson, we're going to discuss default arguments. Now, it's really actually not likely that you're going to have default arguments in your functions, but it's a possibility. You can do that. How do you do it? What does it mean? Well, let's take a look. Take a look at the prototype here. I have void blank lines. You remember our blank lines function. You could call blank lines uh, this way uh, in main say, where you want to output a certain number of blank lines, you pass it a value and you get that many blank lines. So let's take a look again. Here we have void blank lines const short num lines equals four. So here's our difference right here. What this is is a default argument. And what that means is when you call the function, you don't actually have to send an argument. If you don't send an argument, then that parameter is assigned this default value. Notice that you only do this in the prototype. It does not appear in the definition of the function. It's not here. So how do you call it? Blank lines 8, blank lines 33, or blank lines with nothing. So what are you going to get? Well, here you get eight blank lines, here you get 33 blank lines, here you pick up the default value, which is four. Can you default more than one parameter? And the answer, of course, is yes. So you've got some function, my function, with an int char float long double, A, B, C, D, and E. You can default all of them, but if you default any of them, then no parameter after it in the list cannot be defaulted. In other words, if any parameter is defaulted, then every parameter after it must be defaulted. So if we take a look at these, then I have in the very first one, E, D, C, and B defaulted, but not A. That's fine. In the next one, I have, e, I'm working from the right hand side, E, D, and C defaulted, but not A and B. In the third one, A, B, and C are not, D and E are, A, B, C, D are not, E is, or of course I could have none of them defaulted. But what I cannot have is an example like this where I have A not defaulted, B is defaulted, C, D, and E are not defaulted. That's illegal. With this example where I have A, B, C, D, and E with C, D, and E defaulted, then I can call the function like this with four letters Z, 5.56, 88.98. In this case, I'm expecting that the values A, B, C, D, and E take on these arguments. If you look at the second one, I'm passing four Z, 3.5, and seven. That's only four arguments. I have five parameters, which means that E is going to take on the value of 7.8. And in the last call, I pass only two arguments, which means I'm going to accept all the default values. Maybe you'll use them in the future, maybe you won't. It is the case that some system functions, which you'll be introduced to in the future, do have default values, so you can take advantage of those or not. And that's the end of that session.